Hello, I would like to show you how to build an R package with RCPP. And I'll start from, um, from the start. So I'll create a new package. Let's give it a nice name. Let's call it an R package. The package name will be um, eshell-er. And we create it and we have our package. And what I'll be doing is I'll be checking out, I will, will be checking the package often. Because if you do a um, check package, it will often help you. So if you click on check, it will work. So um, so let's do that. And the first thing it will complain about is the license. So uh, here it is, non-standard license. Let's fix that first. So it is, what license is it under? My favorite on GPL3. And then that was the only tested fail, check again. So now we have a package that works. That's cool, we can submit it to Cryon already. Next step will be to add Roxygen. Roxygen is a documentation uh, package. Uh, I, I, I like it a lot. So we're going to generate our documentation using Roxygen. Standards are fine. And we're going to document our code to get our first um, error message we need to fix. So it says that description, uh, no that's cool, but namespace was not generated by Roxygen and will not be overwritten. So we're going to delete namespace, bye bye namespace. Yes. And now we're going to document again and now it will complain about, oh well this works. That's cool. Next step, we're going to add RCPP. Um, but before we do that, there is a function here called hello. It's, it's in there by default and we'll be using it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some documentation. This does something. All right, document, control shift T. And now it will complain about this file. It's like it, its documentation is not generated by Roxygen 2, will not be overwritten. Well, that's very friendly, so. Uh, but we're going to delete the documentation file that was there. It was in the, the old school form. We're going to document again. And here we have a nice function. And what the function is also going to be is it's going to be exported. So it's a public function. So our users are supposed to call it document again. And we now have a nice package with good documentation. Still no RCPP in it, but uh, we are good to go. Next step is we'll be adding RCPP. That's very easy. Use use this. Add or oh, use RCPP. That's it. Like uh, so use this is the new so there's it used to be dev tools, now it's migrating to use this. And already it gives you it, it does stuff for you and it says include the following Roxygen tags somewhere in your package. So we're going to copy paste those lines. We're going to put them in our only docu in our only R file. Oh, there it was already. And we need to we need to put it someplace, so we'll put it here. Alright, let's document again. And it says that it has nothing found yet. Well, that's completely correct. So what we are going to do now is, um, well, it's time to add some source. Eh? All right, there, there's some source here, but it's completely empty. There are no source files found. That's correct. Whatever we do, we get into trouble. That's cool because, well, we didn't do anything, so reasonable. So let's go into the, so I use the terminal, uh, eshell, -er, I think I called it. What's in GitHub's? In the GitHub's, eshell er. Let's go into the source file and let's make a file. Let's call it do it dot cpp, and we'll be also doing do it dot h. And what we're going to do? This is uh, the header file. This is the cpp file. Um, actually, I've just created them. Let's 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 run them from R, right? So with R, and I think they're here now. Well, apparently not. Well, let's add some empty lines there, so they're created. Now they will show up in R. So well, let's edit them. So I had a file. Uh, all right, it's binary. Well, let's edit it then. If not defined, so it, first we add the include guard. If not defined, do it. 
page. It's a, some kind of if statement, but it's for the thing that compiles your code. It's what C++ does and, uh, and if and R doesn't. And we're going to define our function do it. So let's say do it. It returns an int and it needs an int i. What we also need to do is we'll be exporting it. So I have a note somewhere hidden here. There it is. So this is the way to uh, do something. Param i something well written. Yes, it's an exported function. So in C++ you use slash slash as a command sign and to use the single quote to start the Roxygen documentation and this is the tag to export the function. Alright, this is a header file, it's a C++ thing or also C thing in which you declare uh, the functions you'll be using, what goes in them and what comes out of them. So for C++ this is very important because it needs to know how much memory each function takes, at least its signature takes. And in the CPP file, also called the implementation file, we'll be writing our beloved function. The first thing we'll need to do is include this doit.h file. And we are just going to copy it. And what will do it do? It will return i times i. Brilliant function, it just squares an integer. But that's not the, so it's not the, the purpose of this exercise to write meaningful functions. The goal is to get our C++ uh, RCPP to work. So I press documents again, there is some file created. I'm going to clean and rebuild. And now it is compiled. I'm going to document again. I, I just do this as long and so I do document clean, document clean until everything is fine. So now everything is fine. Um, that means it already works. So that means I can already do it on a 5, could not find function, All right, so we need to document again and have it exported, I'm going to clean and rebuild again like I prefer to do this too often and without thinking instead of uh, thinking every time and the library there it is, do it so um, this is easy, it's a square function, it only takes an integer which is a standard data type in C++ what we're going to do now is we're going to use um, like one added co piece of complexity. We're going to use a vector. It's um it's the same. It's very similar to the one in R. It's called a vector. The notation is a bit different. Constant vector of type int reference. Uh, what's going to do? Well, we'll see what it's going to do. Just ruthlessly copy it. Just like I like being lazy in this case. What it's going to do, it's going to sum it using the built-in function accumulate, which sums things up, accumulate, from the beginning of i to the end of i, with an initial value of 0, which also determines the data type. I'm going to document it. I'm going to clean and rebuild. We're going to load our package and now we're going to do it on 5 and now we can also do it on 5 and 6 and whatever integer we like. So notice I didn't use any RCPP classes at all, they are there, but I want to keep it simple and I, I, I prefer using the STL which is the standard C++ library. So I showed you how to use RCPP in a package. Um, like using uh, check a lot, it, it, it helps you guide in getting uh, your package in, in, in shape. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I wish you a very good day. Bye.